Hey guys, hope you're well. The lighting might come up and come down because the weather in the UK is quite unstable, but that's fine, it's okay. Okay, so today there's still New York Fashion Week happening, and by the time I'm uploading this, which I think will be this Friday, New York Fashion Week would, would have already ended, and then it would already be the start of London Fashion Week. And I think my timing is going to be right because I've heard a lot of discourse about uh, about New York Fashion Week not having the same hype or the same value as London, Milan, Paris, or even like the other cities like Copenhagen or Tokyo and Seoul Fashion Week. Working somewhat in fashion, well, actually, I'm I'm working in fashion. Um, I've heard people just not neglecting well they're just not really they don't really care as they don't really care about New York Fashion Week as they would about Paris or Milan and I have my reasons why New York has lost its glamour so for anyone who doesn't know there are four capitals of fashion New York, London, Milan and Paris and I would say that in my eyes well it's pretty like the media also portrays it quite well, but Milan and Paris are like the traditional... There's not really going to be crazy stuff out there, it's really traditional, very high level of luxury. So, you know, I feel pretty much all the biggest luxury brands are in Milan slash Paris. So Prada, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Miu Miu, all of these big shows are in Milan or Paris. And then I would say London is, there is still that traditional with Burberry, but there are really, like there's this willingness to like really pushing and really being new with new designers. And then New York is, I don't know, it's, I want to say it's like London, but in a very American way. And I think this is the issue with New York Fashion Week. So my first point is, the influencer culture and there has been so much discourse about whether or not influencers have deserve their place in the fashion industry and all of that stuff and I did do a video a couple months ago about whether or not fashion influencers are the new fashion experts that you can check out after this video and the reason there's an issue with that is the American and I'm talking specifically about American influencer culture because it's very different from the influencer culture around in other countries. My first point being that the influencer culture in the US seems oversaturated. There are so many... I like this mindset that there's a place for everyone. However, there are so many people that there's not... I feel like I don't know who's it or who's not it anymore. And in New York Fashion Week, you do see that a lot of influencers are being invited which is a great opportunity for everyone so I don't know like influencer A who has a thousand followers still has the same chance of influencer B who has over a hundred thousand followers on Instagram so both influencers have the same opportunities I want to say to go to New York Fashion Week which is great but there are so many people that at this point influencer content it's overshadowing in my eyes traditional journalism, traditional media. I feel like I see more about the influencer's point of view rather than the actual show. And I was thinking, I was saying this in my previous video about I feel like a lot of influencers being to those shows are people who just like dressing themselves, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I I'm more interested in seeing an influencer analyzing this show or someone who's really passionate about fashion the, the craftsmanship and the styling of it all right rather than oh it's cool I could wear this with my like H&M boots right or it's just like or I think I feel like a lot of these influencers that are being invited to the shows really value the lifestyle of being invited to a fashion show rather than the actual show itself and I feel like there's not like it's not a crime but I do see that not everyone needs to be that like not every influencer has to do that or 
brands shouldn't have to only buy those type of influencers because there are people who really want to be first hand with like the touching the material and actually like explain and have those mini interviews with the so like I don't know I mean at that point that would be actually a journalist rather than a influencer but I don't know and my issue with influencer culture and the influencer cult content is the timing of it all TikTok and Instagram it is so easy to come up with the post and the TikTok that you can post as soon as you're done with I don't know getting ready with me let me start this thing before the show when you're done you can actually post it on your way to the show so you are bombarded well this is my experience but I am bombarded with a lot of get ready with me before the actual show and there's nothing wrong with a get ready with me because I actually like how the person is going to style a certain item and I like it but I would rather enjoy it after the show because I'm getting I have because when it's after which would be more convenient with YouTube because with YouTube you, you would need like the whole footage of your entire experience with fashion week and then you would post it which would include your get ready with me's and explaining of what you who you met or like what what did you think of the show everything would be after the whole fashion week or the whole event so by that time I'm actually I actually saw the show while online and the discourse and when I'm watching the video on YouTube I'm seeing the personal point of view of someone and I actually get to enjoy it more than people saying oh okay I'm getting ready and I'm leaving but I don't know what to expect or like I don't know it just it doesn't make me I'm not excited to see the show at this point what I would rather see is people saying okay this is the history of this brand and what should we expect from this collection this year or because there's a new creative director this is what we should expect and now I get invested in okay I really want to see the show I want to see what's going to happen and for example this whole discourse with um, Louis Vuitton um, with Pharrell everyone was talking okay well, this is Pharrell's history with fashion everyone knows him as a musician but he was actually really implicated in the fashion industry and um, he's going to do this and this is what we think he's going to do that I think uh, so I was actually excited to see the fashion show and I was not disappointed and also there were influencers invited to the show many French influencers that I've seen and it's not like they were going to oh this is get ready because I, I didn't see that in my timeline it was more so the show happening the whole discourse which was which really sparked interest and then afterwards people would post or like get, get ready with me this was my experience going to the London uh, to the Louis Vuitton show um, so that was really nice and the thing is I can create on YouTube what I want to see afterwards which is really nice but TikTok and somewhat Instagram it has to f they are feeding me the content and from there I have to filter but if I get a hundred influencers telling me this is I'm going to X brand I don't, <laughs> it's hard to just press a hundred times I'm not interested I'm not interested because I am interested but just not right now you know what I mean I am interested but afterwards it's all yeah so I hope you understood what I was trying to say another point I had was the influencer culture influencer culture and the US compared to the influencer culture in the other capital fashion okay in other cities of the world oh yeah by the way I'm not American I'm Canadian who now lives in the UK so what I'm seeing about American culture is really from an outside point of view so do not come for me I don't know anything and yeah what I was trying to say was that other cities when it comes to fashion week are way more selective with the type of influencers they want to bring to their shows and obviously they will prioritize influencers from their own countries but they know that influ American influencers do bring some awareness to their show let's keep numbers simple but like if there are a hundred influencers for fashion week if for New York fashion week whether they're big or small and they have different styles and different everything out of those hundred influencers American influencers there's probably going to be less than 10 that will be invited to London, Milan and Paris Fashion Week and in a sense it will create some division between the American influencers like oh I'm better than you like I'm, 
I have the opportunity to go to Paris and you don't. So there's going to be drama and division. But at the same time, it makes sense because you don't want to bring anyone, right? Like it's an investment. The brand actually asking you to be part of it, it's an investment for them. They want to make sure that they get some value out of you. So they're not going to bring anyone. They're, this is like, this is an issue. Yes, an American influencer might say, oh my god, yes, I have the opportunity to get invited to a show, like to Chanel. But, and I'm sorry to, to like break people's heart, but French society, and I don't know about like in Milan or other cities, London is quite open-minded, but French society, even like a couple years ago, they were so, they didn't like influencer culture in France. So all those, like even Lena Situation, which is the biggest fashion influencer in France, I want to say, even ha she had some, even like the traditional media in France was not really approving of the influencer's lifestyle. And I feel like over like last year or even this year, there's like a bit of, the, they're okay, but I don't. I want to say like they're fully accepting. There's still here and there a presenter who's who's going to be like, yeah, those influencers are making so much money and you know, nah. Well, yeah. So they're not completely accepting, but they are tolerant. They're they're like okay. There's tolerance about the influencer culture in France. So if they're tolerant about French influencer, I don't think they're gonna have the same respect for American influencer because the cultures are just too different. Maybe it's like the lifestyle or the the way that influencers dress in Europe compared to the Americans. I do like a fun crazy outfit even though I would never wear it in my entire life but I, I can appreciate from afar that this person has come up with a great sense like with a great outfit. But just the overall lifestyle that America has while the US has that is just not translating well necessarily in Europe. So I think that's the issue. So I think overall with this influencer cu uh, culture, I think it works kind of well within the US, but everyone looking at New York Fashion Week, they're just like, yeah, that doesn't, it wouldn't work for us. We, we're not interested in that. So I think that's why. And because the rest of the world is not having the same, is not looking the same way New York Fashion Week as the other fashion weeks, I think some Americans are now also being like, oh, like, mm, it's not as cool anymore. My second part was that the USA is the world of capitalism. We are not shocked by this. <gasps> okay, yes. Now we're in September, it's the ready to wear collections. And obviously the goal is to make sure that the pieces are good enough to be sold in retailers, in big retailers. So that's fine. It's not like haute couture that ready to wear is, can, is this shirt good enough for me to sell in my shop in the UK or in the US? Are people willing to buy this, right? So I, I do think that Americans are very smart and quick when it comes to, okay, this is popular and then fast fashion brands are getting themselves in and everyone is contributing to the economy somewhat. So yeah, I do think Americans are good at that. With that being said, I think if you want to sell something, there's going to have to be some promotion that needs to be made. And that's where social media is coming to hand. I feel like I'm being lost with my point here, <laughs> but stick with me for a second. Social media is a great way to promote or to promote or raise awareness about your brand, your work and all of that stuff. But my issue is that there's, especially the past couple of years, there's this need of making stuff viral when you just, it just doesn't work. Because going viral does not necessarily mean that it's going to be good press for you. And we have seen countless of times, it doesn't only apply to America, to the US, it also applies to the rest of the world. And like I said that with this influencer culture and influencer content being very present to the point it kind of overshadows, for some reason, there's always going to be drama or just like there's going to be drama or like some kind of talk about more about the influencers rather than the show in itself. And at that point, you just really need to know who to follow on social media. Because if you're just looking, if you just don't know, you're just open, you're, I feel like you're mainly going to see 
influencer content of oh my god this person did this to me oh my god i was on my way to the show and that happened and i don't need to know this i or if i wanted to know this it would be after the show or after fashion the fashion week just unnecessary because yes i do like some drama here and there but it's just the timing of it all because at that point the brand becomes an afterthought the last point of my second point was because the us is like very capitalist there's now amazon shein and those are those fashion uh, all those fast fashion brands that are doing shows or pop-up shop so every need everyone whether it's like very luxury or very attainable fashion that need that are very implicated in the whole new york fashion week which you don't really see for other fashion shows obviously fashion and style are not synonyms with okay i can only afford luxury brands because you can thrift you can buy affordable brands but i think the issue is that we're still feeding into this overconsumption culture because i can appreciate this piece but i don't need it in my wardrobe or i don't need to find a dupe in my wardrobe this alone in in a museum would be great i don't need to have everything i think this is what the other issue is part of the reason why i appreciate fashion week is the fact that i get to see a piece i'm like wow that's great and i can move on i don't need to find yes i don't have the financial means to buy the piece from the luxury brand but i don't want it still if it's a dupe or affordable option i don't want it i can just appreciate it from afar and be like that's a great piece i like how they did this material and how they incorporated the colors and how they managed to like like i i can do this from afar there's n i feel like especially with the american cultures there's always this search of getting everything that you need because it is shown in front of you you know i feel like sometimes americans need to have some more self-control when it comes to fashion because it's getting it's getting too out of hand okay third point there is a loss of identity with american big brands no longer presenting their shows during new york fashion week so i think i was thinking of uh tommy hilfiger who used to do shows and then they're no longer doing or kevin klein i don't think tom brown is doing a show this year or there are big brands showcasing their work their new collections but it's off schedule so it's not within the new york fashion week so they're doing their own show and it's really about you know like what type of connections you have to get invited well obviously because in this in a in a positive way there it leaves more space for new and upcoming designers to actually show their to have the platform to showcase their collections which is nice i'm always down to see a new collection from a new designer however fast fashion brands are also doing their own shows and in a sense, I understand because it's not like haute couture. It's not like Shein would do a haute couture show. Or I think it was uh, Pretty Little Things that did the show with Naomi Kimball. I think regular advertising would work for them. I don't think an actual show is necessary. I think it, it's also being part of the capitalism, capitalist kind of I'm, I need to do a show so that people will buy and like we get more money or something like that. Uh, thinking about it, because I did see a TikTok saying that there are influencers that are ready to pay tens of thousands of dollars just to be to New York Fashion Week for the pictures and the shows and all of that stuff. So it's Fashion Week in itself is not that. It's about all that, not necessarily. It's especially for the influencers. So I think for the brands also, there's still some. There's still going to be a loss. I think maybe in the long term. Obviously, in the long term, it might be worth it. But when you're like upfront for the Fashion Week, it's not necessarily like you're gonna lose some money but yeah fast fashion brands I'm, i don't think this is a like, smart move just regular advertising is great i don't know it's just this whole overconsumption, overproduction i'm just i'm not too fun about it we're all guilty somewhat but i think if you're if you're acknowledging your part and you're act actually trying to become better then like that's a good step but what was something else is yeah so Obviously, there is this opportunity for smaller designers to showcase because those bigger brands are not necessarily being part of the New York Fashion Week. However, what is New York Fashion Week when we don't have the big brands representing anymore? 
imagine if there's no longer Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent for Paris Fashion Week. Should we all should we still call it Paris Fashion Week and just have new designers coming in? At this point, it would just we would just need a new brand, a new name to represent new designers. Imagine if Burberry is no longer part of London Fashion Week. Imagine if Prada and um, I don't know what Moschino are not presenting Milan Fashion Week anymore. What is the point? We we need the old, but also the new. If there's no the if the old is no longer here, then I feel like there's no base. The base is no longer there. The foundation is no longer there. What do you guys think? I do know that Coach and Ralph Lauren did their own shows off the calendar, and you could see by who was attending that it was not just like your regular schmegular influencer that was there. I don't, I'm not mad that certain shows, certain brands choose to remove themselves from the calendar and making it more unattainable because at its very beginning, fashion shows were only shown, like designers used to only show their fashion collections to their friends and the family. It was never about, okay, Jean-Paul, Caroline and Mathilde from the Chantier who could attend the show. It was really much about the close friends and the family of the designer. And I, I do think some brands still want to have that, that essence of we only show our collection to these important people and then anyone else can show, see it from social media and from, the, uh, from YouTube. I'm not surprised and I'm not I'm not totally mad about it. I don't know if there are more guests, it's more pressure, or if you have less guests. I don't know. Then people are like, well, celebrities are just as clueless as influencers. I don't know, because I have no idea. Not all celebrities are influencers, so I don't know. An influencer, the influencer's job is to talk to someone, talk to the public, convince the public to buy certain stuff, buy a certain product. Whereas a celebrity, is doing their work and outside of their work they don't necessarily have to promote something like promote a fashion item or something unless there's like collaboration that are made and then my last part was the fact that New York Fashion Week is I'm not, ha I'm not I don't want to say like an identity crisis but there's this loss of meaning they're going to some stuff right but then with the past couple of years of clean girl aesthetic and what was it like quite luxury and minimalist other cities like Copenhagen or this interest of Eastern cultures with Tokyo and Seoul these other cities are getting more traction or getting more popular and they're well respected I feel like New York Fashion Week to me is like Coachella in the sense of it's a influencer convention where the focus should have been on the music so like Coachella or for in the context of New York Fashion Week about fashion. Usually the, the main focus should have been about the collection and the craftsmanship and everything, but it's being overshadowed by social media and the influencer culture and all of that stuff. And I'm not saying I'm not against influencers because I do think they do play a big part in the democratization of fashion, but we do need to reevaluate the where those fashion influencers fall in this industry, and I'm not saying that we have to remove them, but it's but it's more so about create a safe space for them, so like without overshadowing traditional journalism. Both can coexist, but there's still an imbalance, mainly with influencers having more of the power compared to the traditional media. It's quite new, but it, the structure and foundation is not solid yet. But this is why I think social, uh, the influencer culture is still being like side-eyed from the other industries, like from everyone else. It is still important to have traditional media. Their voices are just as important, and this is why we need both. Both of them can cohabit, but we just need to make sure that they can cohabit without one overshadow, overshadowing the other. I tend to watch london milan and paris fashion week in real time but for some reason just like for the the points that i said new fashion week i tend to watch it after the whole fashion month so by it's like for the time everything cools down and then i just rewatch everything 
but I, yeah i'm excited to see what was going on in new york i'm just excited for the whole fashion month um cool things are coming in so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye